Hello everyone, welcome back to the Map of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have 3 to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n equals to 65. And we will solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, I can multiply and divide both of these terms by 2 its exponent in its exponent so we can write it as 3 to the power of n and its whole power 2 over 2 minus we have 2 to the power of n and its whole power 2 over 2 and it is equals to 65 so in the next step we will use here the nice exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n so we will use here this nice exponential law and this expression will becomes in the form of 3 to the power of n over 2 and its whole square minus this will becomes 2 to the power of n over 2 and its whole squared equals to 65 and after this step uh, here we need to convert or change this uh, nice exponential equation into the quadratic form or squared form so that here I can just take uh, u equals to 3 to the power of n over 2 and we take this v equals to 2 to the power of n over 2 so here I can uh, take these two substitutions here in order to convert or write this above expression into the simplified form so that uh, now we can put these two values here and uh, you will get its output in this form u squared minus v squared equals to 65 and now we will use here the nice uh, squared identity and you know that if we have a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we will use here this nice uh, identity in uh, in the above equation and we will write its output as uh, u minus v times of u plus v equals to 65 and now you will see here in the left hand side we have two factors which is u minus v into u plus v and in the right hand side we have a single factor which is 65 so uh, now here we need to make two factors in the right hand side so that uh, we will write this expression as u minus v times of u plus v equals to here we have 65 and we will write the 65 as 5 times of 13 and you know that 5 times of 13 equals to 65 and now we will compare both of the sides and first you will see here uh, this u minus v is less than u plus v and similarly in the right hand side we have 5 is less than 13 so when you compare these two sides then you will uh, you will compare both sides and you get its output in the form of and you equate u minus v equals to 5 and u plus v equals to 13 and i can named this as equation number one and this as equation number two so these are the two equations and now we uh, our next claim is to solve these two equations and find the values of u and v so now first we just add equation number one and equation number two so when you add these two equations here so you see that these are cancelled by each other and we get two times of uh, u equals to 5 plus 13 equals to 18 
and in the next step we will divide these two on the right hand side and you will get here u equals to 18 over 2 and you get the value of u will be 9 so here you have the first value of u is equals to 9 so now we move towards to find the value of v so that we will just uh, subtract or uh, uh, just subtract 1 and 2 so when you subtract equation number 1 by equation number 2 then you will get its output in this form and here we have equation number 1 is uh, u minus v equals to 5 and equation number 2 is u plus v equals to 13 when we subtract these two equations then you get here in this form so here you see that u's are cancelled by each other and you get minus 2 times of v equals to minus here you have uh, 13 minus 5 will be equals to minus 8 and when we move this minus 2 in the right hand side then you will get here this v equals to minus 8 over minus 2 and you get the value of v equals to 4 so uh, here we have uh, or here we will get both of the values u and v and you see here the value of u equals to 9 and the value of v equals to 4 and now we will back substitute the values of u and v so in the start of the problem we will take here u equals to 3 to the power of n over 2 and v equals to 2 to the power of n over 2 so now we will back substitute the values of u and v here and you will get its output in the form of uh, here you have u equals to 9 so when we put the value of u which is 3 to the power of n over 2 equals to 9 and now we put the value of v so our v equals to 2 to the power of n over 2 equals to 4 so now we simplify these two expressions and we will easily get the values of n on both of the expression so here you get 3 to the power of n over 2 equals to we 9 uh, we write this 9 as 3 squared and here you have 2 to the power of n over 2 equals to 4 and we will write this 4 as 2 squared so in the next step you will compare both of the sides and you see here the bases on both of the sides are same so that we will equate its exponents and we write it as n over 2 equals to 2 and similarly here we equate n over 2 equals to 2 so uh, when you move this 2 in the right hand side then you will get here n equals to 4 and similarly when you move this 2 in the right hand side then in this case you will also get the value of n which is 4 so you get here n equals to 4 be the unique solution of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos